Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an inverse from a point to a line. So I've got my math screen open here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to inverse from point 3 to this line between point 2 and 5. And what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm going to select the plumb bob in the bottom left corner of my screen that's going to open up my main menu. And in my main menu here, I'm going to select Calculations and then the Traverse slash Intersection tool set here. And what I'm going to make sure is that my method is set to Direction, Direction. And as I said, I'm going from point 3 here, so that's going to be my first point. So I'm going to put in point 3. And then my direction is going to be 90 plus 2 dot dot 5. And what that's going to do is it's going to set my direction to be perpendicular to the lines between point 2 and 5. So I'm going to have a perfect 90 degrees, which should give me the shortest distance between that line and my point. For point 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select either of the points on my line, either point 2 or point 5. In my case, I'm going to make this point 2, and then I'm going to put my direction as 2 period period 5, and that's going to perfectly set my direction along the line between those two points. And you can see here that I get a nice solution point exactly at 90 degrees between the intersection of these two bearings. And if I go on my info button here, I can get the statistics on this inverse here. You can see here that I've got my direction, my distance, and then my solved point here. And the distance between point three and my solution point, that would obviously be the distance between the point and the line. And if I want to store this point so that I can refer to it later on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this menu here. I'm going to hit store solution point. I'm just going to store it as point six. And if I close out of this menu, I go back to my map screen. I can now even just do a basic inverse between the two. So if I close this line menu here, select point three, and I'm going to use my ruler here to do a quick inverse to point six. You can see that again, I have that obscenely large distance as these points are all imaginary. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you use microsurveys field genius to perform an inverse between a point and a line to get the distance of the point from said line. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.